Hey there, my name is Provis. Welcome back to more Surviving Mars! Below and beyond in New Ulm. My polymers production is not really keeping up with where I want it to be. Eh, you know, we actually just built a whole bunch of apartments and got some more housing and stuff. That's probably a big part of the reason why, yeah? Yeah, that's probably it. Resilient architecture is done because we actually have a reasonable amount of science production all of a sudden. My god, the difference that it makes. Am I right? Am I right? Of course I'm right. Uh, what else can we work on? We could get some factory amplification. Now, yeah, that's going to cost me a fair bit of power, but I actually think that this could be a pretty huge boon for me. But let's keep in mind that I'm really going to need to get some power situated pretty soon. Um, and yeah, we're not making enough power. All right, let's go ahead and turn these all on. There we go. That should be enough to recharge the batteries by the end of the day. I forgot about the underground again. Gosh dang it, I have to go do that. Um, we need to get some power situated because I want to start getting some more amplifications for some of these factories including things like the polymers and the machine parts and so on, right? That makes just a lot of sense. So the sooner we can work on that, probably the better. Um, but the problem with fusion power is it does take workers in order to keep that going, so meh. How are we doing on fuel? We are consuming a fair bit, but overall we're doing pretty good here. Another dredger hath been detected. It's going to be landing over in this direction soon enough. We'll go ahead and have a reception committee ready to go. Am I right? Yeah. All right, so we'll worry about that later. I don't think that the dredgers are really that big of a deal at this point. They're more of a nuisance than anything. All the more reason that we want to be fighting the aliens and just crushing them. Hey, we have geologists. What? For the first time, I have actual trained specialists who can boost up my production. With three people, I'm getting 4.3 rare metals per soul. That's fantastic. If with any luck soon, we might even be able to uh, start producing an excess and send some to Earth so I can get money and do more outsourcing. Wouldn't that be fun? You better believe it would be. All right. How are the scientists doing? Pretty good. We're working in these Hawking Institutes very aggressively right now. How's the sanitarium doing? Pretty good. We've cured six people of horrible things. Factory amplification is already done. That means we should go over here and amplify you. Okay. 25% extra production, but yes, it does consume more resources. Or rather, uh, more, more power and stuff. Yeah, that... Yes, that's what I meant to say. Um, so that means we're going to want to get a little bit more power figured out. And I might as well expand out the uh, solar array bank, I suppose. This should be enough to make up for what we're losing down there. Let's go to the underground, see what's been happening in our absence. Answer, not a whole lot. Uh, what are you working on? It looks like you are already working on clearing this area out. Okay. So let's get down here now with our RC Seeker. We have some cave-ins, but they're mostly all kind of in a big pile over here. I think this is probably okay. Let's go ahead and set up a large dumping site. This is a big cave over here. It's actually a really good spot for, uh, let's say, a dome. There are some metals, and what else is this over here? Is this water or something else? I don't know what's under here, but if it is water... No, it's more metals. Darn it. All right. Water would have been nice, but oh well. Okay, cool. Well, we're going to go ahead and clear out some of these rocks. Let's bring our explorer down this direction, because we are digging our way through toward this dang anomaly. I'm going to find out what this event does, dang it. I'm going to find out. And we can get the bottomless pit research done whenever we want, by the way. That's still a thing, but it's not a highest of priorities. All right, so we're still making progress in the underground. Slowly but surely. Uh, this is why people are saying it doesn't feel like the underground is meaningful enough, mainly because it feels like there's just... Well... It feels like there's not enough return for the amount of micromanagement you're having to do. There can be. It just, it does take a bit of effort. What is this? Darkened skies? Warning! We've got a red alert! The scanners have gone crazy with the signatures of dozens of dredgers heading our way. Dozens? The dredgers' transmission repeat a signal we can only interpret as urgency eat dig. On the screen, they look like a swarm of locusts. We can presume their goal is similar. The mission sponsor has authorized a forceful response. In five souls, we are going to have dredgers appearing all over the place, including, by the way, we can see my own water and my rare metals. So those are going to be some of the top priorities. There also might be a deep deposit we haven't discovered over here somewhere, and that's showing where theirs are going to go as well. All right, so that's going to be fun. That's going to be very fun to deal with. Um, this is where having more drones for our Seekers would be nice, but also setting up a few extra drone hubs in a few strategic locations could be good. We are almost certainly going to need a concrete extractor in this area, so we'll probably have a drone hub somewhere out over here anyway. What is this, by the way? We found some polymers. Where'd those come from? No idea. Hey, did we finish, um, getting all of our deposits that we had left behind with things at the elevators? 
Yes, and it looks like some machine parts and electronics have been dropped off by the shuttles, which means we are set over there. Excelente. All right, you guys can go back onto your automated jobs. We'll just let them do their thing for a bit. Thank you. And has the dredger arrived over here yet? No. There was going to be one here, right? Did it leave? I don't know. Well, if, yeah, no, I still see the icon. It's just very faint. Well, whenever the dredger arrives, we're going to beat the snot out of it. It's just not a lot of benefit to blowing them up. They drop a few random resources, but nothing, nothing really killer. All right, so our productivity has greatly increased at the polymer factory. That is good news. You know what I don't remember? Is if... Yeah, we still... We, we basically are increasing our consumption of fuel as well, right? It's not like we're increasing efficiency. Where we increase the number of polymers we get per fuel. I think it just means we get more polymers from fuel faster. So I'd be tempted to do, say, an amplify on the electronics factory. But all that would do, ultimately, is just help me burn through my rare metals faster. And that's... Still good, if that's what you plan on doing. You might as well get it faster rather than slower, but, like, if you don't build up your, um, your, uh, resource extraction to match, well, then really, how much good have you done yourself? And the answer is probably not a whole lot. Cold wave on the way! Okay. Well, fun. Uh, what this means is I'm going to need a lot more power. Probably. Um, we can place down a bank here and over here, probably. Let's get the dozer out of the way. Yeah, I'm going to want some more power production. Because uh, we know it's about to get very, very cold. And power is how we are going to keep things alive. As far as water is concerned, we're fine. So as long as our water towers are protected from the cold, we're okay. This is really going to be just a matter of power plus sanity. If we can handle that, the cold wave's not a big deal. All right, we've cleared a lot of stuff out over here. We found some rare metals as well. Okay, this is actually a very promising spot for a dome. Very promising. Uh, let's see, where's my dozer? We already cleared out some stuff. Hang on, let's send the explorer. Did we finish clearing out this tunnel? Gosh dang it. No, not quite. There is still more to go. All righty. Hang on. Let's go ahead and once again... Clear out rocks. <sighs> These cave-ins are in the way, aren't they? Okay, hang on. Bring the explorer. Bring the uh, dozer. Stop stop your auto jobs for a bit. I want to micromanage you. Yeah, this cave -in needs to go as well. And we can go ahead and bring you guys down here to help. Anything to speed this up would be nice. Where is the dozer? Eh, it got pretty far away. Oh, God. This looks precarious as frick. <laughs> Those rocks are going to fall at any moment. Get out of there, you fools. All right, so we are clearing out this cave-in. That's good. Another cave-in already has been cleared. That's good. Can we set up a clear command now? The answer is yes. Good. All right, so Dozer is already working on it. So we're clearing out this site. Okay. Just got to get a few more rocks out of the way. Gosh, we're going to get the anomaly today. I swear we're going to. Whoa. What got destroyed? Hey, why did my drone hub blow up? Did we have a meteor and I missed it? We lost a rover, too. Oh, come on. Well, that sucks. Yeah, this got blown up as well. Oh, freaking heck. All right. Well, fan flipping tastic. Let's go ahead and drop off our new passengers as well as get our prefabs. We're going to have to waste one of them on a drone hub in a place I didn't really want. All right, we need to research the tech to just go ahead and build my own drone hubs. It's time. I'll finish the Martian festivals. No, I won't. This is high a priority. Get drone hubs going, dang it. I'm, I'm pretty confident there must have been a meteor and I missed it and it blew this up. 22 more colonists. Excelente. So we'll have more people able to go work a bunch of jobs. In fact, we actually have 17 unemployed people. Now that's unexpected. Um, well, where are some places where I could get myself some extra jobs? Because we need people to work all the time. We could ramp up the infirmary. Don't need more of the diner. Farm's fine where it is. We've already got people working the security office. You know what this means? It means it actually would be beneficial at this point. I think. For me to go ahead and start working on um, the medium dome. We could also... You know what we can do when in doubt? When in doubt... Extra work shifts at the Martian Institute do the job just fine. And set them to overload. There we go. 
Okay. So this should get me even more science per, uh, per soul at this point. Could also turn on the network. Might as well have this worked as well. Boom. Okay. 22 arriving colonists. Fantastic. We'll go ahead and repurpose a lot of you guys later. If you have any, uh, let's say, undisclosed problems, uh, please just go to your nearby sanatorium and stop bothering me. Up to 2.33% on the temperature. Still not enough. Wow, there are a bunch of dredgers coming down over here, huh? All right. Um, I need to get another drone hub set up in this general vicinity. And it doesn't have to get all the way over here. That's irrelevant. We do want to be able to access... Yeah, I think this is fine. Okay. So this is where we want to go with one of our prefabs. Uh, apparently, we're not automatically using the prefab on this drone hub. I'm going to go ahead and just clear it out then. They're trying to rebuild, but we haven't got that technology yet. So what, is, what does that do for me? And the answer is not really anything. So this should be in range for somebody to go ahead and do. There's the drone hub tech. All right. So now we can build more if we want. Oh, well. The prefabs were nice while they lasted. Let's go ahead and place down a new one to replace. Oh, come on. All right. Speed up, please. Someone go clear this out. Why is no one clearing this out? I think they have to clear out some... No, there we go. Resources or something. Well, the advantage of placing down a drone hub here, though, by the way, is we should... I say should... Find ourselves uh, getting a bunch of free drones. So, at least that's a thing. These pipes apparently are not connected. We should fix that. Wait, why are a bunch of my pipes... A bunch of my pipes are broke? What? A whole bunch... Oh! Oh! Hold on. I'm sorry. I thought that I could place these. But placing down the solar panel deleted this for some reason. It said that we could do this. That's weird. Maybe we can't. Well, we'll see what the drones end up doing, but I'm not... Ah, meteor storm's now on the way. Fan flip fantastic. Yeah, you can build these over the solar panels. Why do these get deleted? That's weird. Huh. I'm, I don't think it's a bug. I just think it's confusing. All right, storages. Um, we need universal depots. A couple of them over here. We're going to turn off fuel. And the goal here is to have enough resources dropped off that this drone hub will be able to send people over here to start working on the medium dome. We're also going to want to make sure we have some food set up. Eh, we can worry about that later, I suppose. It doesn't matter too much. Shuttles are under heavy load. Yeah, duly noted. Um, we could construct some more shuttles. And I'm going to go ahead and do that. It does cost me some electronics and polymers, but you know what? Worth it. Martian festivals are done. Good. Decorations now give some extra comfort value, so hopefully that increases things like the birth rate a little bit. We have 22 houses left. How many children do we have? 11 still. Okay, we're still getting there. I am highly tempted to go ahead and toss our seniors into a death dome. I know, I know. It's an evil thing to do. I do not disagree. However, they're consuming my food and producing nothing in return. All right? I mean, you tell me. What's better for the colony at this point? Two day souls, by the way, uh, until the uh, dredgers arrive. We are going to be having issues with um, a cold wave and meteor storm happening at the same stinking time. So that's going to be fun. With any luck, and I say luck with extreme levels of sarcasm, but also hope. Um, with any luck, the, uh, the uh, meteor storm is going to be far away and not really a concern. I'm going to go ahead and place down another laser over here. I want it to protect stuff. This is going to be another infrastructure hub at some point, I think. This rocket is ready to go back to Earth. So is this one. Don't care. Don't need. We've got 17 rare metals. It's amazing what a couple of geologists can do, huh? Absolutely fan flip fantastic. The social tree is coming along really nicely, to be honest. Rejuvenation treatment. Now, this is an upgrade. We'll have to pay for the infirmaries, but getting the extra relaxation is nice. It basically uh, gives you a whole new... I mean, kind of like parks give you re uh, relaxation right now. Basically, infirmaries can do that too, which is great. Drone heavy load. Yeah, duly noted. Also, duly disregarded. Do not care. Thank you. Bye. My god, the power is really starting to drain. Holy crud. Okay. Um, I, I, I kind of think that we need to get some more wind farms. If I go to this triple electric scrubber, it'll drain more power, but it'll prevent some issues. And even if it drains more power, who cares? Because I can then fit a bunch more power sources over here. 
and they can kind of sustain it without any problems, I think. Gosh, it's so hard to select some things, though. The reason I want some extra wind is primarily because these will run during the night as well, where I am currently draining a lot of my power. So do this, and that's five more wind turbines, all of which should have no maintenance associated. So no machine parts being lost. It's pretty good. And yeah, it cost me extra power, but it should solve that problem. How much more power is it costing me? It's only costing 12.8 for this radius. That really is not that bad for a max service area. That's really not bad. It's fine. Hey, one thing we should also do is flatten this area. Whoa! That's bigger than I needed. Flatten this area. Oh, that actually happened instantly. Perfect. Uh, because it opens up this little area. So if I want to set up, let's say, some more fuel refineries and stuff in range of the triple electric scrubber, we now have the space to do that. What I could have done was place down some greenhouse gas factories doing that, and that's actually what I had intended to do, and I kind of forgot. I thought about it in between videos, and I did nothing about it, and now I feel like a dum-dum. You'll forgive me, though, right? I think you probably will. All right, Medium Dome is definitely under work. Um, what I'm going to do is go to this transport. <sighs> Hang on. This transport over here, I'm going to go ahead and tell you personally to go and gather up a bunch of concrete. And we're going to deliver some because right now the drones and the shuttles are slow and also costing me a lot of fuel. How's our fuel doing, by the way? We are still producing more than we lose. That's good. Machine parts, great. Electronics, great. Polymers, actually back on top. Food, unbelievably good. You know, something we could try to do. We haven't checked this yet, but I wonder. Do any of the other colonies want to do some trades? Let's contact them. Initiate trade. No, thank you. Absolutely not. Uh, what about you? Food in exchange for a tiny bit of metals. Meh. I mean, it's okay. Oh, that's me. Ha ha ha. Right. And then I definitely am not doing that. Okay. Well, the only thing I do is sell off some of my food in order to get some uh, metals, which is okay, but not, not good enough in my opinion. All right. Never mind. We ignore you. We ignore. We cannot. We cannot for any of your foolishness. Why have I not got enough water anymore? Great question. I'm gonna guess that at least one of my extractors is probably shut down. Let's place down some more moisture evaporators. Uh, any others we want? Yeah, let's go ahead and place another one over, let's say, here. And take a good look at these over here. Sure enough, it has broken down. Oh, did you guys ever find the dredger? The dredger never arrived. Alright, that's just a tease. Also, three dredgers are coming over here? My god. And yeah, there's actually waste rock over here. Okay, so that's why we're having some problems with our water production all of a sudden. We'll fix that soon enough. Cold wave in just a few hours means that we need to go to the subsurface heater. Where are you? Good lord, I keep forgetting where you are. There you are. Hello. No, that. Yes, that. Turn them on. Repair them quickly, please. These are always a top priority. There we go. We have at least one fixed, and another one's going to be fixed in just a moment. And there we go. All right. So if I extend your radius to like this, I think that will prevent this from being as much of a power draw, though of course we could just turn them off too. Um, I want to test to see if, as expected, one hex making contact is all it takes in order to reduce the power. It should be, but I want to test this. So let's just wait a couple of souls. We're going to see the power of this jump up. Here comes a meteor. Way over... That doesn't... Don't... Okay, stop giving me false alarms, game. As if I'm worried about that. Hey, we're actually almost done clearing people of a bunch of uh, nasty flaws. Good. Personality flaws are going to be dealt with. All right, cold wave begins. Marsquake also hits. That's good. And I'm getting a phone call. Hang on. Okay, so the power has indeed doubled up to 20. So if I take this subsurface heater, this is where you have to kind of make a, um, a value judgment. If I increase this, so right now it's costing me 11 power. Now it'll cost 25, so we're going to cost ourselves another 16 or so power. But if this is correct, this should go down to 10, right? Yes. And what about you? You know I think you're not actually technically in range. Yeah, you need to get one more hex on you. There we go. So it's going to cost me about... It's going to cost me almost 15 or 20 power in order to make 20 power back. The alternative, of course, is just turn these things off. And that's a very viable option, given that, you know, we kind of have a huge deficit of power during the night. 
so maybe worthwhile. We're making plenty of water. I'm going to go ahead and upgrade these, but also turn them off. And we'll have to do some repairs on them later, but that's probably fine, truth be told. You, same thing. Go ahead and turn this off. Why cost me extra power right now? We're all right. We're all right. Or you know what? I don't want to have to do all the repairs. Tell you what. We'll have you on for only one shift. For now. Something like this. And what this does is as long as you have one shift working during the day, it doesn't freeze. So you don't guarantee that you have a new maintenance cycle. The same thing can be said over here with this rare metals extractor, but I don't want people working during the cold wave in a natural disaster. That's just going to scare people and upset them. Why do things like that? All right, power-wise, that's not a lot. We're not doing great on power still, but we can fix it. All we need to do is set up some polymer blades. This should help me get enough food, uh, power during the day, right? Rejuvenation treatment is done. Okay, so we should go to our infirmaries now. And this will cost some polymers. What else is new? It always seems to cost polymers, but we're going to increase the service comfort and relaxation is going to be a new perk. Also, I don't need this many doctors. Go away. Okay. Uh, we have 10 people unemployed. That doesn't feel right. Really? Gosh, we actually have full employment over here. Holy crud. All right. Tell you what, we do want more doctors. Here you go. Part of the problem, of course, is we did just pull everybody away from the rare metals extractor, so that's one of the reasons we have that. Um, this is a good sign because if we have extra workers, that means I really should go ahead and get nuclear fusion probably sooner rather than later. And we'll let people go work that job, and that will fix all my power problems for a long time. I don't remember at what level we're going to get rid of things like the, um, the cold waves. It'll be a while. Let's see. Creates environmental conditions for toxic rains and clear water rains to occur. Yes. Decrease the severity of cold waves. I don't know what that means. Does it just reduce how long they're a thing? Because I don't think it actually reduces, like... Or I don't think it increases the temperature during a cold wave. I think that's a non-thing. I don't know. Eh, whatever. So these are upgraded and that's still all the power I've got? Jeez. It just doesn't feel as good as it ought to be. All right, I can fit, let's say, one more wind turbine right in here. Go ahead and do that. Why not? I'm going to get the triple electric scrubber for every game from here on out, by the way. They're just that good, it turns out. Maybe the cold wave just lasts long, uh, shorter. Maybe it's just a shorter event. Only 21 hours left. It feels like this went by pretty fast. I could be wrong, but I feel like it did. Polymers are a pretty serious concern for me. I feel like we're still producing nowhere near enough. We could go ahead and have some night shifts. I guess we will. Sure, why not? That does increase my fuel consumption by a lot. We do want to get ourselves probably another one of these fuel refineries. Where can I fit you? Okay, uneven terrain. Apparently, we didn't actually flatten this. Still feel like that didn't flatten it. Gosh dang it, I don't think we can go any flatter here. I think that's it. Oh, come on. you got to be kidding me. That's just a little irritating. All right. Um, well, as long as we place in range here, we're in range of the triple electric scrubber, which is what I care about. So, yeah, do that. And then, of course, set up another pipe along this way. And I think you automatically will have power as well. Um... I'm not really thrilled with how much fuel is being stored over there. I think something I might do is just go ahead and set up a spare depot. With some fuel, let's say, over... Somewhere far away from all the other resources. Just have that over here or something. And let's just have a backup of fuel. Nearby, but not in range of maybe exploding and doing some serious nasty stuff, right? We're out of power over here, apparently. Uh, I think I'm just not discharging enough during the night. Which would imply we need more batteries and or atomic accumulators. Can we fit one over here? Darn this uneven terrain, I hate you so much. Alright, well it's still in range. So, that's going to have to be good enough for now. Water chip, new thing. Okay, terminal softly beeps, indicating the water chip for one of our domes has failed. 
The chip controls the water recycling for Kushinata Dome. Without it, power consumption will increase by 400%. Okay. We were supposed to get a replacement water chip, so they were wrongly delivered. The water chip is complex. will take us six souls to manufacture. Or we could import one for $250 million. Um, I mean, I have pretty decent water reserves, but not for 400%, not on a pretty large dome. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and import one, and this is gonna cause some water issues, but I think it's worth it anyway. By the way, we actually do have a fair bit of money back home. Can we outsource again? Let's do it. So this brings me up to about 5,000 science per soul. Alright, now we're getting somewhere, guys. Now we're getting somewhere in this game. This is starting to feel a lot better, a lot better. Oh man, so much goods. All right, what else do we think we will want? Well... Residential building upgrade, huh? Or comfort value? I can't remember, this doesn't only apply to smart houses, does it? I don't think so. Arcologies I don't think are ever really worth it. Oh, I want this. Research amplification. Higher priority! I can upgrade my Hawking Institutes and get even more stuff, please, thank you! All right, cold wave is ending in just a little bit. I think we got enough power. We'll be okay during that. Um, now, meteor storms. And temporarily turn all of you on. They'll have to get repaired, of course. New here fusion is done. Let's find out where the meteors are going to be before we get too worried. Me oh, dredgers have arrived. At least some have. All right, meteors. No, those are dredgers. These are meteors. All right. So it looks to me... Like, we don't have any issues as far as getting hit by meteors, at least not for a bit. We do, however, have an issue with all of these dredgers needing to die. It seems that the aliens might be frantic, do you think? I think they might be a little bit scared. We did, we did kind of purge all their resources. We're going to kill as many of these as we can. There's some more over here. We got to destroy that. It's supposed to be like three over here, I thought. They're taking away my rare metals. It's a very high deposit, too, so I don't really appreciate that. Get them, drones! Get them! Hey, look, another one. Get them! They're gonna try to go for my water and stuff, too. I really wish we could just shoot them down. Can you? Hang on, I'm gonna turn this on. This one doesn't need anything. Whoop! Run! Run! No, drone, move that way, please. Good lord. You guys are asking for death. Get over here, please. If the meteors destroy this dredger, I'm going to laugh. Nope. All right. That was too much to hope for, apparently. Fine. We got to pay attention to that. But in the meantime, we'll very slowly destroy these dredgers over here. Thanks, by the way, for the free metals. Much appreciated. How's this dome doing, by the way? Ooh, it's actually under construction. Yay. That means I need to find a name for this. But I guess we can address that in the next video. Whoop. There's the other dredger. Blow them up. They did take a while to destroy, I am discovering. Which I consider annoying and offensive, but all right. We need to get ourselves a drone hub set up over here. This is a place we said we were going to go. This should still access a lot of the storage areas I want. Um, but I do want it to be out of range, not in the way of a dome if we place one over here. I could place a dome up over here instead, though. I guess it doesn't matter that much. All right, tell you what, we're going to go ahead and place you over here. The goal being to have access to another source of concrete in the event that we need it. Also, some extra drones that can go forth and destroy the dredgers! Destroy them all, my minions! Oh god, there really are a lot of them. Frick. Frick. Alright. Well, anyway, I'm going to end this video here. i got to go take my wife on date night. And there's a new falafel place that opened up nearby. And I want to go eat some falafel. So thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If so, then I would ask you to hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. Ha <laughs> ha!